Elena Sandovici. I am an artist. I'm a full-time artist based in Houston, Texas. I paint a lot of animals. I paint a lot of pets. I love painting pets. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a dog. First, you need a good picture of a dog. Um, you can use my dog if you don't have your own, um, but your own would be more fun, of course, because it's your dog. Um, anyway, get a picture of the dog. You need a picture, ideally, in which you see the whole dog, see its whole body. So first, get a picture of the dog. The most important step in drawing something, anything, is to truly look at the object or person, or in this case, canine you wish to paint. So really look at the dog. Look at the picture of the dog. Try to understand how the dog is built. What are the elements of the dog? So look at the dog observe the dog, see things about the dog that maybe you don't know, though frankly if it's your dog you probably have looked at the dog and you know how many toes it has, you know it has a dew claw. Well anyway, not all of that needs to be in the drawing, at least not at the beginning, but you want to really understand the dog. You want to really take some time to look at the dog and then, um, so the fun thing is if you have the picture on your phone just go ahead and mark up the picture and look at the elements of the dog and try to draw them onto the picture itself as geometrical shapes. Now that you've marked up the picture, look at the picture on your phone, um, grab a piece of paper, grab some colored markers if you have them, if not anything will do, it doesn't have to be colorful, though of course it's more fun colorful, and just try to draw that onto a piece of paper. Look at the picture, just draw the shapes, it's fine, it's kind of gonna be a crude little dog, um, but it's gonna be a cute little dog, it's gonna be fun, and this is how we learn how to draw. So just draw the elements that you drew onto the piece of paper and you can watch me do it um, clumsily as I hold my phone in the other hand. Okay, so to make our dog, here's the dog, but remember you're not looking at the actual dog, you should be looking at the picture of the dog. So you look at the picture of the dog and you have broken it up in pieces and look at the marked up picture that you have on your phone. So do the pieces of dog. So this is the trunk then we decided that there was the chest that was big so we're gonna do that and it doesn't have to be perfect but um there is the little dog face and my dog's my dog's um head is kind of square or you could make it round anyway then there's the little snout um there is the snout there you go um, the most important feature of my dog are the ears, so she has pointy ears. So we are going to do this, ears. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be fun. We are doing this for fun. Okay, so now we could change markers. And, um, we are gonna get the green marker and we can do a little paw do little claws if you feel like it four claws um i have studied it again it's all about looking at what you're doing so study the dog and then we're gonna do the back paws with claws okay and the little tail which in my case the little tail is crooked there you go miss holly so now we are gonna give the dog eyes. Eyes are important. There we go, dog eyes. And what else? Does your dog have whiskers? Ooh, does it look like a cat now? No, it's not a cat, it's a dog. Um, you can even, you can get more observant and it's more fun. So you can see with my dog, like around the eyes, there's a little bit of white and then the eyes are kind of black. Um, that can make it fun or not. Um, 
she has this little shape on her forehead and you can do that um oh wait we could do the neck or something um anyway ta -da! is it ugly yes it's ugly um is it silly yes it's silly so we are going to sign it with a lot of pride and we are going to think that it's really cute and the point of this again is we are going to get better by making more of these um can you refine it yes if you're good at it you can refine it you can do more but i think for today we've done something it was fun hopefully hope to see you again soon bye